Hi, welcome. I am Stefan Ludwig. I'm an associate professor here at the University of Melbourne in marketing. And my area of expertise is within digital marketing, communication and digital marketing analytics. And I was asked to today present quickly on my um, view of future directions within this field. Let me kick off by saying um, or explaining why I believe that digital marketing is different from traditional forms of marketing. Um, that primarily has to do with uh, the velocity at which things happen within the digital marketing space, so the speed at which things happen. It also has to do with the volume at which data is generated um, and used within the digital marketing space. And uh, finally, it has to do with the variety of type of data we're dealing with in the digital marketing space. All three of those um, characteristics of digital marketing um, carry very interesting uh, future research implications. For example, if you think along the customer journey, uh, which traditionally is classified into the six steps below, we see that in the online space, there are different media used at different points. Um, and so this is very exciting to find out how and these different media um, and the information therein relate um, in order to um, make it as bring the consumer essentially to um, decide on a purchase. Within those different media types um, and within the digital marketing domain, um, there are specific areas of future research that might be of interest um, centering around the type of uh, sources uh, for the digital um, marketing communication. So for example, if we think about um, consumer reviews, those are essentially messages posted by consumers for consumers. So it's a one-way communication from a consumer to many other consumers. Um, and obviously that is a, um, has been proven to be a decisive factor in consumers' purchases. And so it is an interesting topic to study as to how and why these customer reviews are impactful. Also interesting is the more interactive exchange between consumers in a, for example, online forum where they share and uh, discuss different brands and ideas, products and services. Very interesting field context to study for future research. We naturally also still have the one-way communication from firm to consumer that hasn't ended. It's just moved to the digital space. And so through, for example, the um, provision of a digital advert, um, firms inform consumers about their brand products and services. The question is how should those be designed to be effective? Where should they be placed? How should they be structured? And how should they be sequenced? Interesting topics. Um, finally, um, the last important communication flow is of course between a consumer and a firm directly, for example, through the use of e-customer services, which gained uh, a lot of attention, especially during the, the past month, where you're essentially removed from the offline world where you had a one-to-one face-to-face -face interaction with the firm representative. You're not doing that in the online space, mostly through text or audio. And the interesting part, of course, there is how to efficiently do this. Within these different domains, there is two special um, future research topic I'd like to flag up. The first one has to do with the digital multimodalities. Um, so there's a variety of formats in which digital communication happens and digital marketing happens. It happens through numbers. If you think about ratings, the last movie you saw, it probably you looked it up on Rotten Tomatoes or IMBD to find out what rating is behind that movie um, to make to inform your decision. You also have textual, audio, image, and video type of communication and information and data uh, which is available and around those different modalities, it'll be interesting to see how they spill over into one another and um, what the firms should take care of when dealing or using one of those means to communicate. Finally, we look into digital dynamics. Now, the interesting thing about digital data and digital marketing is that everything is traceable. Unlike the offline world, where we have no idea where the consumer comes from, in the digital space, we know exactly where he's been. We can trace how he got, how he or she got there, where she is today on our website, and why she did or didn't make a purchase. Interesting digital dynamics to look into are message developments, for example, the argument development in the review, and how that translates into the impact of a review. Um, dynamics within entities. So, for example, if you think about the content development across a brand's tweets, so several brands' tweets in a sequence would make a content development. How does that development translate into implications? for market performance. And then finally, um, coming back to interactions, 
uh, the dialogues between the dialogue development between, for example, an employee and a customer in an online space is an interesting thing. How does this dialogue develop and how can the development of the uh, dialogue inform how the customer relationship is going? That was my quick summary of where I think future research topics are within the digital marketing domain. Thank you and best of luck with all your research projects.